Hi, I'm Pascal Giegert, Product Manager for Test Results IO. In the previous video, I explained you the first part of our onboarding process. Let's now look at the next step where one of our onboarding engineers will guide you through our tutorial test case and helps you setting up the automation for your own project. After this phase, you will know how to create a software model for your application under test and how to write a simple test case. To help you get familiar with the concepts of Test Results I.O. and the basic functions of our visual designer, we will start by automating a few simple test steps for our example project, wikipedia.org. Before we can start with the automation, we need to connect to a test environment, also known as the system under test. This is typically a second computer or a virtual machine on which the application that you will be testing is running. You will be connecting to this environment from the visual designer. With the screen editor, we will then model the language selection and main page of Wikipedia. We will then use this model to automate the precondition step of the test case, which will load Wikipedia in the desired language. After we have seen that this simple automation can execute, we will continue to the login screen, which is already a bit more complex and allows us to explore some more elements in the screen editor. We complete the test case with the navigation and of course a verification instruction that checks if the name of the logged in user is correctly displayed. After you have published your newly created automation to the test results IO portal and started your first real test case execution, we will look at what little modifications are required to run the just automated test case against other browsers. In the next session, the Test Results IO onboarding engineer will help you setting up the foundation for a solid test automation solution for your own application. For this purpose, it helps if you can give us a brief introduction to the UI of your application and what test cases you plan to automate first. This will allow us to show you additional functionalities and techniques that could not be covered in the example project. If required, we can also support you directly in more complex automation challenges that are needed to get your automation on the way, such as registering a new user with an activation email or providing an installation method for a desktop application. The goal is to get you started quickly with the first test cases to give you and your management confidence in your test automation. With this introduction, you will have a working test automation solution with the first test cases up and running after the first week. From here, you can continue to build up your test coverage. Watch the next video to learn how we will continue to support you in this process.